Hey guys, it's Kim, and I'm back on with Coca Rosa Share. I did not use this one yet. It's the beautiful butterfly. I plan to do a couple projects with this next. But I did use the bird dies. And this is their what the picture of what it looks like on their site. Use the the links below and the coupon code Kimbo, all caps, and you get 25% off. So I'm loving my tray with my magnets. That works really good. So I used the bird twice, the three birds. Aren't they cute? And yes, you guys are so cute. You're like, yeah, it has the letters in there, Kim. It does. Oh boy. Anyway, so yes, it comes with the words happy birthday on it. Just, you know, I'm kind of, takes a village. But very cute. So I only use this one once. <clears throat> and I put for the first one... I use some of my foam. This is Createology foam, sticky back foam. And I use made it a slimline card, so I did this I had in my stash. I was just fighting the squirrels. They were in my bird seed. It's like, okay, I'll feed you, I'll feed you. And I had gotten off of HSN, the Kingston Craft. Oh my gosh, look at all this wonderfulness. So very fun. And it comes with, so that's on HSN. It comes with um, plain cardstock to match all the colors and all the cardstocks. And the sparkle pens I've been using lately, I've talked about before, are the scrapbook.com pastel ones. So they use those. And I love it. So I cut these little guys out and paper piece them for this. And I put brown as the base because you know I wanted the um the branch. There we go. To you know, I didn't want to cut that out. So they're all built up on that. When you paper piece, you gotta kind of figure out what base color you want to use and then build up from that. And I cut out a blue and I cut out yellow. However, I ended up coloring on top of with my Spectrum Noirs and then using the shimmer pens. And I just shaded them a little bit on the bellies. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Colored this in orange and then went back and did some outlining and just glued some black behind them. Or no, the brown was enough because it was the base on their eyes. Then I double kind of offset the happy birthday with pink and blue. And then the notes I did in pink and blue with the, the um, sparkle on it. So I just went so happy. It's just a front. It's, I haven't put it on a card base yet. Isn't that cute? I mean, that could be adults, kids, anybody. So cute. Love it. Very happy with how that turned out. Then I had distress colored the birds again. And I decided to do them kind of like robins. You know, we have a lot of robins here anyway. So I did their little tummies red and browns. And then I, this is all water with the distress inks. And I did another, I did a collage of vintage behind them. Hello. So much fun. I'm having a really good time doing this. So I was sitting there last night just cutting it up and gluing it down and distressing it. This is, so I had got these digital. I have these on my digital. So I did postcards that I'd already printed out. This beautiful, isn't that gorgeous? Dollar Tree. So I used one from this that I had seen recently, gotten recently. And then I just keep it all my distress or junk journal type, you know, vintage looking stuff. So again, I used one of the flowers from this. That's it behind there. And I had some vellum stickers, some stickers there. Some, I got these on Timu. Very pretty. So that's some vellum on there. I had some music note paper. So I wanted them looking like the, you know, the die that came with it had them singing, so I thought that was perfect because they're chirping. And then on one of them at the top it said Cupid's Dream, so I put that there. A piece of paper from one of these. See, I just have them all <laughs> in here. And I picked one out and then just kind of tore it and, 
and then I had a doily sitting there and I just think all the colors came together really nicely and I just went around with my distress inks this is a vellum sticker or vellum it's not a sticker I just put a piece of double-sided tape behind it this is a sticker though so yeah I had fun and then I also did the inside this is that corner rounder that has three options from Stampin' Up! I've had for years and then I just put some more tape and then some of the music note paper cut it up there's another one of those stickers from Timu and this card base is a 5x7 that I had gotten, I believe it, at Hobby Lobby on clearance. So I'm using those up. I'm really enjoying having them. I thought that dark green was perfect for this. So those are two my two projects using the bird dies. There's this one. I just thought for happy birthday they need to look colorful. I tried poking up it in. No, I didn't like it. So it took me a while to come up with <laughs> I don't always share all that I, you know, it took me a while to come up with what I like, but once I did, I was having a ball. It's easy to paper piece this because it's like layered. If you see here, this comes apart. It, you can cut that, snip that off. It comes up, kind of it up off, but I put it on the blue here. I, don't, I can't see what you're seeing. There we go. And then for these guys, <clears throat> Where did I put it? I could not for the life of me find the teacup one that I did with the gatefold. Can't find it. I cut out the birds. They're popped up too, but I cut them out of off-white paper and then just went around. I don't know if you can see that or not or care. Um, with Distress Ink. And then put them on there to give them a little height so they'd stand out. Sorry, I'm not showing it. So yeah, very happy. <clears throat> Remember to use my coupon code. <clears throat> Excuse me. They send me the items for me to share. And then the coupon code just gives me, you get 25% off and I get a little kickback. So it's perfect. It's a win-win for both of us. All right, guys, like and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye-bye.